Hi, this is Mark Wade from CenterCityCondos.com at Berkshire Hathaway Fox and Roach Realtors. In this podcast, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite buildings in Center City. It's called Center City One, located at 1326 Spruce Street. I'm just going to talk off the top of my head, and let me tell you what I believe to be true and correct. I think this building, well, first of all, I think it's very well managed. I think it's got a very strong location. I think the unit layouts are just phenomenal. I think for the uh, the uh, split two-bed, two-bath units, 1,209 square feet. There is not a better floor plan in Center City. It's just, and, and it has everything. You know, it's got a little dining room area. Uh, it has outside space. It has two walk-in closets on either side, two bathrooms on either side, uh, two fairly equal-sized bedrooms. Uh, when you get above, let's say, the 13th or 14th floor, 15th floor, values are really going to spike heavily uh, just only because then you're looking at this phenomenal, phenomenal center city view. It's really quite striking. I've always believed that the building is undervalued. Um, they're, uh, currently, the building is, uh, uh, again, I, I think the building's very well managed, on-site parking for some of the units uh, who own parking there. If not, you may be able to find a rental spot. And if not... There are six dozen gar- I mean, there are six or seven different garages within a block or two. I mean, you know, parking there is very easy. But what's nice is that you are centrally located. So you want to go to the grocery store. You want to go to the Rittenhouse Square. You want to go down to the movie houses down in Old City at the Ritz. Um, not a problem. Uh, very easy to find a cab there, a Lyft, uh, an Uber, or what have you. Um, located just off the Avenue of the Arts, a.k.a. Broad Street. Um, and you're close to the sporting club, which is the gym in town. I mean, anybody who knows anything about, if you want to work out in center city, you got to go to the sporting club. Uh, and it's about a, a block or two away from uh, center city one. Um, the building itself, let's see, what can I tell you? 277 total units. Uh, every unit has in unit washer dryer. What's interesting about this building is that, uh, Every unit has their own heat and central air. A lot of the buildings of this vintage, you know, 70s, 1970s uh, uh, construction have a central heating system where you get the heat from the building and then they, and once a year they turn it to central air and then six months later they turn it back to heat. This building, every unit here has your own uh, um, HVAC system. So you regulate it yourself. Water uh, is uh, included in the condo fees, as is gas. It has gas cooking, which is kind of nice. Um, uh, what else can I tell you? Um, you know, I, I'm a huge... Oh, the, um, they, about a year or so ago, back in 20, starting 2015, 2016, you have an option if you want to upgrade and replace all your windows and exterior door and all your exterior windows. Nice upgrade. Um, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the value, and I think people are going to see that in resale. Now, comps in the building are interesting because I recently had just this kick-ass one-bedroom, high floor, done up, redone to the nines, new windows, uh, da, 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 with parking. I priced it so far above uh, really what any comparable in the building uh, could have suggested. Sold it day one, multiple offers. Both offers had escalation clauses, both cash. So, you know, a, a unit there, r- high floor, new window, park, believe me, the, the sky's the limit, in my opinion, within r- reason, the sky's the limit on value on those units. Um, but uh, I believe that condition is, I mean, heavily, condition heavily influences value in the building, as does floor height. Um, and of course, if you have parking, that's just, oh my gosh, you're, it's just pretty phenomenal. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? Um, let's see. Uh, the sizes in the building range for four, from 494 square feet, those are studios, up to the two-bedroom, two-bath, 1,209 square feet. Now, those two-bedroom, two-bath units only face north. There are none of those on the south side, although the south side does have an 1,156 square feet, two-bed, one-bath. So, But those are rare. I've sold one of those recently, but those don't come up too often. It is a pet-friendly building, uh, and I believe the pet the weight limit is 50 pounds, but you also need to know that this is a non-smoking building. So... If you're going to smoke, uh, you can't smoke on your balcony. You can't smoke inside the unit. Uh, select units have parking. I have floor plans of the these units on my website, uh, Center City Condos under 1326 Spruce, aka Center City One. Uh, what else can I tell you? You know, I, I think it's a. I think Center City One is a smart purchase. I think the location is strong. Um, 
management's good. They have the friendliest front door staff in all of Center City. I'm telling you right now, it's a very friendly front door staff. I really like them. Uh, every unit has a small storage area. You've got on-site management. Um, Condo fees are fairly reasonable, uh, and I think the management, the condo board of this association is, is, it's a good one. It's a strong one. They listen. They they listen to, uh, you know, they've asked for my opinion on a couple uh, equations a couple times about what do our buyers looking for, what do buyers like, what they don't like, da, 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 and they actually listen. How do you like them apples? I mean, a condo association that listens, that's rare. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um I don't know. You know, I could sit here and rant and rave all I want. Um, the lobby. Oh, oh, this is a good one. So, ten years ago, I would take clients into Center City One. They'd walk down the hallway. They would look at me and like, I'm not living in this building. The hallways looked like crap. They were awful. Ugh. Uh, they were bad. I mean, they were dark. They were ugly, and it repelled buyers like like a like a you know. It was not good. Anyway, so what they did in 2013, they redid the lobby and the elevators. And then around 2014, 2015, they redid all the hallways. And that was the best money spent because now I no longer have anybody who will reject the building before they get into the unit. And, you know, we see that around Center City from time to time. Uh, you know, buyer doesn't like, you know, what they see in the lobby. They don't like what they see in the hallways. And they're not buying in that building. That's just the way it goes. Come on. Um, but the building has wisely improve the common elements, the visual appeal to the common elements. Now they look strong, and I think it was necessary to propel the building in terms of demand and value. I think it was a, just, again, a brilliant move that some associations won't do. They hoard their money and like misers, and they won't spend it. Center City uh, One has a wise, smart board. They spend their money, and they and at the same time, they stockpile money. I mean, it's really the best of both worlds. Anyway, Center City One, listen, if, you, if you're in my car, I'm dragging your ass there whether you like it or not because I think it's one of the best values in terms of value retention, livability, and just a very smart investment. So there you go. If you're in my car, you're going to Center City One, <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> so anyway, this is Mark Wade, centercitycondos.com. I could go on and on and on and on, but I'll shut up now. Um, Questions, comments, or concerns, you pick up the telephone, you push the buttons on the front of it, 215-521-1523. Thank you.